What's going on guys? Today we're going to be redoing the bucket list because since React is a component based library, um, we only have one component right here, but this could be split up into several components. So that's what we're going to be doing on this video. So stick around. So first things first, I'm gonna move this old code that we have for our app right now into the fun folder and I'm gonna create a new file right here. I'm gonna just call call it old underscore app dot js and we're gonna just copy all everything in here or and paste it right in here, control save, and just leave it like that. If you save this now, you should have literally nothing over here. So if you save it, nothing. All right. Don't forget to start your live server. So live dash server public folder and your Babel. All right. Don't forget to run these two because this is what we need. All right. So we're going to start off by separating our old app dot JS. We're going to start separating all this into different components. Now, let me actually copy this and put it right here again. So that way I could talk over here. Now we all know that this could be split up into a component or this whole thing could be split up into a component, right? This add option right here could be split up into a component. These buttons right here could be split up into a separate component. And also the, the, um, the list, right? When we create a list, that list could be split up into a different component. Why you, why would you want to separate all these into component? Uh, this list could be used anywhere say say that you want to render another list well you don't have to build out the that component again you already have it right here you just call this component and just dump in the data that you want to list out and you, you'll see exactly what i'm talking about once we start getting into it so let me get this all out so the very first thing i'm going to do is actually grab the header and sub the title and the subtitle and make split that into a component. So we're going to actually do class based components. And we talked about this briefly, very briefly. We talked about it and we, we, I don't think we ever, yeah, we did talk about classes in my uh, basics fundamental, but like I said, there's going to be a bit more into classes and this section is going to be all about classes. Like this is going to be this, this is a brand new playlist for react and it's going to be about classes. Okay. So we're going to split this. Like I said, we're going to split this title and subtitle into its own component using a class. Okay. So we're going to create a class class and we're going to name it header It's is a best practice to use uppercase H or uppercase first letter when you're, when you're defining a component uh, and we're going to extend react dot component. Okay. And I spell what? What is that? React. React. Dot component. All right. And here we're going to create, or like I said, we're going to be rendering out the title and subtitle. So, in here we're going to render every component has this method called render, and we do need it. And what we're going to render, we're going to return. And guys, like this should be simple. This should be really simple. You should already know what's going on right here. There's no reason for me to define it. And we're going to do H1 title. And we're going to give it another H2 for the head. And sub title. All right. Obviously, we save it right now. And nothing's going to be rendered because this is just a component we built out. We're not even rendering rendering it right now. And don't worry about that. We're going to get that soon. But right now we're just creating components for all the the necessities. All right. Next up, we're going to create an action component. So the action component is this right here, this button, this button. I don't, I don't even know why it came out the way it did. But this button right here that says, what should I do, which gives uh, the random option to do. Right. So we're going to build that out. So we're going to create, I'm just copy. I'm going to copy this so that way. We don't have to, and we're going to, I'm going to call it the action component 
And what we're going to do in here is render out, get rid of this, a button. And we're not going to add the, uh, the on click events for right now. We're going to do that later on. What should I do? And that is it. That's the action. Remember, on click. It does have an on click, but we're not going to mess with that right now. Actually, it has a disabled and on click. And we're not going to mess around with that right now. We're not worried about the functionality right now. We're just worried about building out the components. We're going to create another one. And this one's going to be the options. Like, remember, guys. So we have this options right here. The options being the array, and we have the single at uh, the single option component. So we have options and option. So we're gonna create both of them. Options. And right now in this dev, I mean this div, this div, we're gonna just say um, I'm gonna create a p tag, and we're gonna say options component, and I'm gonna create another one down here, and this is going to be called the option. Singular component. And right here, I'm just creating another p tag. Option component. All right. And last but not least, we're going to create an add option, which is this right here where we add the option. Okay. I'm going to call it conveniently add option. And I'll probably have a, uh, a thing up above saying, hey, skip to this if you don't want to get go through all this here. Okay. All right. Now that we have all the components built out, what we want to do is actually create one more component. But this component is actually the component that we're going to be rendering onto the screen. And this is going to be, I guess you could say the master component or the head component. So I'm gonna create one more class all the way to the top and I'm gonna actually call this the bucket list app. Cause this is going to be the head component and this is going to be rendering everything that we have down below. And if you do remember how to re re render everything down below, it's pretty simple. You still need your divs. I don't know why you erased them. You still need a singular group div, just like so. All right. The way you do it is actually whatever you name the class, like I named this one header, I'm just sticking it inside like that. And that is it. That's how you call out your components or render out the components you want. And we have an action one here too. I'm just uh copy this as well. I have an action one here. We have options and option. Options and option. And we also have an add option and that's going to be it for this one. Control save. Now, if you do remember uh, how to re render it to the screen, I'm pretty sure you hope, I hope you do remember. It's react dom dot render. And what do we want to render? Well, we want to render out this class component we built up here. So I'm just copy this. The bucket list app. And where do we want to render it? To the document dot get element by id and we named our element app if you if you hit control save now you should see it or you shouldn't see it what's going on oh i do know what I, it's capital d o m and there you go we have our components rendering rendering out to the screen all right now what we're going to do Actually, it's not going to be that much, but this is basically the beginning of our application. And right now I'm just going to be creating, 
I guess you could say um, dynamic data. The reason why we want the dynamic data right now is because everything right now that we have right, right here is static. That means nothing is changing. And we're going to change that with dynamic stuff. So I'm going to actually create a const of title. And it's going to be set equal to bucket list app. I'm going to create another const. And this is going to be set to sub title. And we're going to set that equal to, I forgot what I, I had it before. Let me see what I have. Where's our, mm, this one. All right. And lastly, but not least, we're going to create a options array. Cross options equal and we're going to give it some dummy data for now so one two three and that is it all right so how do you pass these like this title needs to be here so we need to pass it down to the actual class that ha needs it and the way we do that is called props. The way React has it is called props, properties. We, we send in properties inside this. It looks like an HTML tag, but it's um, a class. And we send properties within this class. So if we wanted to send title right here, all we would have to do is call, it doesn't matter what you name it. I'm just name mine title. You could literally name it dog if you wanted to. It doesn't matter. And we're going to set that equal to the title variable we have upstairs right here. Right, and we're gonna actually grab it by using this dot props dot title. So everything that React does, see right here, subtitle. Oh wait, this dot props dot oh dot title is dog. Control save. There it is. Bucket list app. Everything that we do, or every data that we send through the through React is going to be called props. And we use this because we're, we're grabbing an instance of the header class, right? And this is the instance that we're setting up. And it has a property dog. This is why we use this dot props dot dog. Now I'm change the uh, dog to title. Because I mean, I was just showing you that you can do that. And I would expect you to do this with everything else. So we're going to send another one here because we do have a subtitle. I'm going to name it sub title we're going to set that equal to the subtitle we had upstairs and right here i'm just well this dot props dot subtitle control save now you have what we have right now is rendering what we need now for our last thing we're going to do and this is going to be it for the video because i want you guys to work on this on yourselves because we're going to do a lot more but is this options array. What we're going to do with this options is array is we're literally going to send it out to the options component, which is this. Matter of fact, we don't even need this option right here because I'm going to show you why in a second. Control Z. Let me uh, delete this. We're going to send this as a property as options and we're going to set that equal to options whatever the variable up here and down below in our options component we're going to actually loop through the options and call an instance of the option component right, it's kind of it's it's a bit weird it's a bit weird yes yeah, i agree but all right let me, let me try to do it so we need to open up a jsx expression or javascript expression right here so that way we can start using javascript you know loops and whatnot and we're going to do the same thing we did over here, which is use map. If I could find it, I know it's over here somewhere right here. We're going to do exactly the same thing where we're just looping through the array and we're just, you know, pushing it out. So we're going to do this. Like I said, the way we grab it is this dot props dot options, whatever we named it upstairs, which is options. And we're going to just map through that and we're going to get an option back. And for right now, for right now, I'm going to create a P tag. Okay, guys, I'm, it's just a P tag. And with every map, every time you list out a key or a list, 
you do need a key like we did right here. We need a key and the actual text. I'm actually going to use it. option and index. Okay. Options. It's actually, we're going to get an option back and an index of that. So for the key, I'm going to use, Hey, I'm going to use the index that was given to us. Index is just, uh, where it, where it is right now. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, that kind of stuff. And it's key, not Hey, and for the text, I'm going to use obviously the option that we got back, which is right here. Let me just grab this control save. And now, now you see one, two, three being displayed on the screen. But what we want to do is actually use this option component right so like i said we're going to be using option component and the way we do that is literally just call an instance of it right here so the way we do that is literally call the option component option component right here and what we're going to do is pass in the key which is going to be the index and we're also going to be passing in the option text. I'm just not name it text option text, which is going to be the option we got back. I hope this makes sense because this is pretty much the, uh, what's it called? It's pretty much the, it's pretty, it's pretty minimal. Like it, it shouldn't be this hard right now for right now. It's pretty easy to understand. It should be anyways, easy to understand. And down here, what we're going to return is, I'm just get out this and this dot props dot option text control save. And now we see it one, two, three, and we're still grabbing it out. And the reason the spacing is different because we use a P tag up here, but down here we're using a div tag. So the spacing is all wrong. Don't worry about the spacing or how it looks right now. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. We split out everything that we needed to do. All we need to do is do the add option. But I hope by the next video, you do have this working because like I said, all this should be pretty much simple. You should know how to do it already. And the only point for this video was to split out, split the app to components and actually talk about props a little bit properties. And I'm, we talked about it in our, in the last video, I'll have an info card right here. Um, in the top left that shows you about the react fundamentals. And I went through all this in one video. It's pretty simple and this is how you use it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I know it took me a while to actually make this video. Uh, I don't even know how long it's been since my last video, but thank you guys for sticking around. I really do appreciate it. And I will, it's going to be more consistent guys. I do promise you that it will be more consistent videos. I do have, um, Everything is slowing down in my workplace, so everything else is going to be consistent. So I do apologize for not being consistent, but thank you guys for everything you have done, uh, sticking through it, you know, <laughs> waiting for one video to come out in like a week or something like that. Sorry about that, but yeah, thank you for sticking with me guys and leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.